Hey guys. What's up? Coming to you live. Just kidding. Because I'm live, but you're not. You're like two weeks behind probably. Because I'm a slacker and that's the way I've been doing it. So tonight in the shop, got my bike on the new jack. And uh, I think we're gonna start tearing her down and making it what I want it, which has no bitch option. Put a big circle with a mark through it. No, no back seats. So the plan is, got all this stuff back here, chop these extra pegs off, you know, we're gonna chop it up. I bought one of these trailer fenders from uh, Princess Auto. Real heavy gauge, it's pretty thick. So that's actually gonna be kinda like the fender. Probably gonna play around with the, the shape and stuff. But for now, we're just gonna start tearing it apart and uh, we'll see where we get. Time lapse style, of course, because that's what we do. So, so far we've got the back chopped off. As you can see, Alex is taking apart the front. The only thing we got to do now is get the uh, screwdriver in there to pull the choke piece out and then the tank will come off super nicely, I hope. Um, I don't know, I'm going to be tearing everything apart. Everything that's chrome that can be powder coated black will be powder coated black. Fucking kickstand. This cover will go black. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the motor chrome, or maybe just do the top of the the heads or whatever the covers. I don't know. Need a little bit of shiny, but uh, I gotta cut these off. Still, because I'll never have a passenger again. These tabs too. I'm gonna cut off because I'm never gonna be using those side panels. I'm gonna make my own. Um, I'm at or I'm either gonna make my own or I'm gonna make a, a look-alike oil tank that goes there Just to hide all the All the electronics and whatnot I've seen guys do that but, uh, This one pipe has to disappear so I can cut that off without wrecking anything I think I'm gonna leave the pipes as is just because I don't know why fucking that looks good enough Fuck yeah Get the baffles out of there. Don't need, don't need anything scarier than that. Fuck, eh? Like, you can see a line right there. My camera's fucked. Uh, anyways, we're gonna carry on. Alright, hey guys. You missed a little bit because my cousin Amanda just called the chit chat and stuff. And notice how this is like flat. Never mind this bump here, but you know how this is flat, this part? Uh, I cut this part where it started rounding. So the round part, and this notch is for the frame, because for some really weird reason, like the frame is nice and curved on this side, but this side kind of like squares or gets like a triangulated motherfucker. So anyways, the fender's gonna sit like this, right? That, that, good to go, right there, boom. That's how she's gonna look. So now that you missed that, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a tab that's gonna sit right here, and uh, the tab's gonna stick out, and I'm gonna weld a little stud on the swing arm, so it'll be able to slide right in when we put our fender on. And then I'm gonna make some kind of a little sissy bar, just like a tiny little thing that comes, nothing higher than that.
got our hole drill. Now I'm going to clean it up. And uh, so I can situate where I'm going to put my stud. Yeah. I got to figure out where I'm going to put the uh, this plate on the fender. And then I got to figure out where I'm going to put my stud. It's going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, I'll check you, check you, check you. Hi. Jesus, talk about having a big dick and a small body. Look at that. The big snow bucket for a little loader. It's so cute. Like that bucket's bigger than the the bucket on our, our Zettelmeyer. That's what's funny. Oh, snow. Got a bunch of it last night. But uh, yeah, I'm just driving around. Hey guys, so uh, we're gonna try out this powder coating setup I got from a buddy of mine. So far it seems pretty simple. Parts are clean, shot some powder on them. The oven's going, is it 450? It's getting there. I had a few boys over tonight and I didn't get too much done there, we were just hanging out, but. Um, <clears throat> As far as you can see, I welded a tab on this side. I uh, got these stainless bars. This is going to be my sissy bar. It's almost, uh, I'd say about 3 16 3 16 stainless rod that I had kicking around. And I planned on making a, uh, oh my god, a grill for a hot rod later on. But, anyways, so we got these little stainless tabs that I'm going to weld these rods to to make the mounting for the fender slash sissy bar. It's not gonna be nothing big and it's gonna come, they're gonna come together to a point and then I'm gonna curve it back. So I'll give it a little bit of a kick-ass thing. And uh, also, I uh, got an oven in here. We did some powder coating as you saw in the earlier uh, thing. This one didn't turn out too, too shiny like I thought it would there it's a little rougher I should have put more powder but it's kind of cool it's got like a when it glares in the sun it like sparkles and shit so I did my new pegs like that and uh, that thing so far I'm gonna do my wheels regular just gloss black both wheels and uh, yeah so that's where I'm at so right now I got the Tigua ready to go I got the first bar uh, got the first bar bent, so kind of like bent and follows the uh, shape. So I'm going to tack everything on, right? And once both sides are welded together, then I'm going to take them out and I'm going to put them in the vise and I'm going to make that bend at the back. So I'm going to tack all this together and then I'll show you when I'm absolutely done this thing. Man, that looks awesome. Fuck yeah!